I'm going to show you the ratio template because that's that's one of my favorites. So the ratio template. Uh, the, the great thing about this template is that you can ask what ratio uh, numbers are to each other. So for example, just in this, again, the dummy content here, we're saying what ratio of milk to water. And then as, as I drag the bar, say up here, you can see down at the bottom, I'm, I'm pointing with my fingers there, but you can see down at the bottom here that uh, the number scales, it changes with how you configure it at the top. Um, it's great for when you want to ask a ratio question, but in this one, I just want to ask about the battery life of the MacBook. So I'm just going to remove that one and uh, we're ready to just configure this as a sort of a dial, a slider we've got over here. So just like before, let's say how and the bar, so let's say and it's nine. So the total value, what this just means is that this is the maximum number that the bar can go to. So you can see here it's 30. Well, I'm just going to change that to 12, same as the last one. And we've got the increment still set to 10. So let's bring that to three again, just like before. And it's not nine milliliters hours. There we go. So we've got that and we press OK. There we go. So that's that template configured. Uh, and just like I was showing you in the, the interactive, sorry, in the knowledge transfer templates that we were looking at, there are a number of ways you can uh, display your content to your learners in the way that you see fit. And just like in the previous template, we can configure a takeaway here uh, that will display when they answer the question. Okay, perfect. Oh, in fact, I, I'm just going to show you um, another great use of the ratio template. So we've seen the bars scaling together, but you can actually turn that off. That's one of the configuration options we have here, allow bars to move freely. And that lets you ask uh, a variety of number questions in the same slide. So let's say the question was, uh, what are the, what are the dimensions of map? Okay. So we can have, for example, width and height, and let's just do width and height, measured in centimeters, increment one. Okay, and there we go. So for example, here we're saying the width is nine centimeters, and uh, off the top of my head, let's say it's 12. and 12, 9, and there we go. So that's that's another really good use of the, the ratio template if you want to ask uh, a multiple set of number questions on one uh, slide. 